Well, let's just focus on that one. Look, there is, uh, immigrants do not take our jobs. In fact, though, if we allow 11 million people, and nobody has a plan for sending 11 million people back. I sat with a family the other day, and they have uh, three kids in our country. Two of them came here when they were four or five years old. A third daughter was born in the United States, and that family's in danger, even though they've been here for 25 years or 20 years, is in danger of being broken up, of having those, their parents sent back, and having their kids left orphans. So I, I don't believe that by breaking up families we make our country stronger. And I know this, that when you have people that have to live in a shadow economy, that's a drag on wages for everybody. When people are on the books, that makes wages go up. And we have created a bit of a catch-22. In other words, since we haven't updated our immigration policies since the 1960s, it's easy to say, well, why don't they just get in line? There's really no line with an ending that, that these folks can get into. And that's why we need to reform our immigration policies, upgrade it, make it more modern, and that will allow us then to do a better job of not only controlling our borders, but also having a sensible immigration policy that has a predictable path uh, to citizenship for those who want to come here, for those who we educate here and now send home, or uh, worse, some of these other policies that are still in place, uh, like the three and 10 year bar. So that's what I'm for. Okay.